Welcome back to World Dish. I'm still here in the kitchen with Amanda Byron, my go-go friend. I stayed. You stayed. Because we cooked Cole Cannon, which was absolutely amazing. Mm. So if you do want to see what we did in the Cole Cannon dish, then check it out. I'm making you something else. This time is a bit more me. This is a dish called poke. It's a Hawaiian dish. It's uh, using raw ahi tuna that we're going to quickly marinate with some soy, um, some sesame oil, and a tiny bit of rice wine vinegar. Right, I'm just going to slice these thinly. I mean, you can play around. I've seen people put loads of different things as their toppings in their poke. The radishes is probably the biggest twist that I'm putting on, on here. Okay. And then I've also got some wasabi peas. <gasps> which I are love a wasabi pea. It's They're like so wasabi roulette. Have you ever played that? Yeah, and it makes your nose explode. But it's only one every five wasabi peas. Is it really? Yeah. That's okay. really, the one that gets right up your nose. It's quite mild. Could be here all day, really. <laughs> yeah, good. Mm -hmm. No, I got it. I totally got it. Oh! Oh, I totally got it. See? Mm. Roulette. Oh my god, my nose is about to you lose. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's that sadistic kind of weird pain that you love. We're going to put a couple of um, spring onions in here. Um, I'm going to go for the green bits. Green's more like a herb and the, the white bit's more like an onion. We're going to really thinly slice these. So I'm going to put this into my bowl. Okay. This is really easy. You're going to be really surprised. Nope. Nope, not radishes. I'm going to take my tuna. Really beautiful piece of tuna. of tuna. When you're using raw fish, don't be freaked out, okay? Ask your um, fishmonger for sashimi fresh tuna loin. It'll be fresh enough. And just make sure you keep it cold, use it on the day. Simple as that. I'm gonna cut these into big-ish chunks. Oh, I love raw fish. So do I. Right, so we're chopping this into chunks. Little cubes. Cubes. I'm gonna put in some soy sauce here, Japanese soy sauce, all right? Two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, a tiny bit of rice wine vinegar, which just gives it a bit of tang. I'm actually going to play around and we've got a tiny bit of yuzu in there as well, which is a, which is a citrus. Got one very important ingredient. This is Korean chili pepper. Mm. Tell you what I'm going to do as well is um, some toasted sesame seeds. I go for the multicolored ones. Next up, we're going to put in some avocado. Could you live without avocados? Absolutely not. I have at least one avocado a day. I put it in everything. I put it into my smoothies, my protein shakes, on my breakfast. I'm going to slice this up. So if you pass the rice over, brown rice. I've got a... Oh, good girl, brown rice. Uh -huh. All right. This is some sushi rice. I'm going to put that as the base. You're going to do your own one. Grab a spoon. Okay. And you can put this on... Put some of this onto your rice bowl. I'm going to put okay. it off to the side a little bit. Drizzle that on there. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. So, put your avocado in there now. Okay. All of it? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go for some more yuzu on here because okay. it just needs a bit of citrus. Then we've got our radishes. Um, I'm going for some of this lovely pink um, sushi. Ginger. Ginger. Love this. I'm then going to put on some uh, wasabi peas because I love them and I think that they go very, very well. And then, I mean, I love seaweed, so I'm going to maybe put some of that in the corner here. I'm going to put a tiny bit more of the Korean pepper and then I'm going to finish with some more sesame seeds. See what I did there? Oh my gosh! Yeah, you see? <laughs> but this is fun, isn't it? It's I'm having a really nice time. I almost feel like this could be like the new sushi party. This is brilliant. No, they it's... both look great, actually. I'm happy Don't with both they? of those. There is no winner here. I quite like my, I my of, sushi maybe, roll flower. Yeah, maybe you do are the winner. Damn. It's the only thing I've won today. Um, I'm using chopsticks. You can go with a, a spoon if you like. Um, you sort of like take a bit of everything, really. Mm, that's so good. And I just got a wasabi pea. What it's a good brilliant. idea, because it just gives you that bit of crunch. Because mm. like whenever I cook or do a dish with, with raw fish, people are always a bit like, mm, really? Would you do that? Would you feel brave enough? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. I'll be making this. I'll send you pictures. Will you? Mm, absolutely. This I can do. Yeah, you can this do that. Even, even Amanda <laughs> Byron can make this. <laughs> if I can do it, anyone can. And if you guys do, then let us know how you get on um, in the box below or send us Instagram pictures to World Dish. And Amanda, where are we going to get more information on you? Oh, I've got my own YouTube channel, Amanda Byram YouTube. And I also have my own website where I have some healthy tidbits and advice on nutrition and exercise, amandabyram.com. 
Well, listen, I hope you enjoy it. And I've had a lovely time with you here. Oh, I've had a lovely time with you. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me in your kitchen. Mwah. See you later. Bye. <laughs>